bargains, reasonably priced kits I picked up on eBay. Um, this one first off, this is the uh, Eddard F6 F3, um, I believe it's the Hellcat uh, as it's commonly known as. Or, um, couldn't resist this one on eBay, actually got it for 9 quid, which I think for a profi pack condition is pretty damn good. Uh, fantastic box art, uh, like a lot of modellers, I really can't resist any with sort of shark's teeth like this. I think it looks really cool. Um, but yeah, uh, as you can see, a really nice bit of box art there, it looks really good. Um, kit number 8221, uh, uh, looks like we have at least 5 different uh, decal options. Uh, 148 scale, usual stuff around here, another picture of the box art, unassembled scale plastic kit, um, pretty much standard stuff. Okay, let's start with some look under the box, see what we've got here. Oh, what's the invoice? Um, okay, what I'll do is I'll start quickly with the, the instructions. As always um, with the Eddard kits, you know, really nice, really glossy colour instructions. Um, reasonable bit of information here. Of this first third, really, of the uh, first page is information on the aircraft in English. Uh, we then go on to what I'm assume is uh, Czech, I guess, Polish, whatever, that, whatever it is. Um, and then there's a little bit of information down here in English again about this particular uh, aircraft. First page, usual, you've got the um, sprue map and the additional parts that come with it. Uh, paints, uh, we've basically got uh, the Mr. Colour, um, the uh, Mr. Hobby, Mr. Colour stuff usual pretty much for um, Eddard there. Um, we've then got obviously the instructions like most aircraft it starts with the cockpit, uh, references to the photo etch uh, here. Um, what's nice is it looks like we've got some photo etch for the engine as well. Wiring harness. Um, looks like we might be able to build up a reasonably detailed engine here. Um, fairly simple build really then go straight on to the uh, fuselages, staffs going together, stabilisers, tail, engine going on. Obviously, you, um, if you pretty much you won't see much of the engine once it's enclosed, but you possibly could open this up. There seems to be possibly some options here, some question marks. I'll have to look into that. Uh, wings going together. Uh, no detailed gun bays on this one, so. I expect there are, if you wanted that, they'd be aftermarket or you could scratch build if you're keen. Um, looks like there's an option for bomb racks, so it's advising you to drill holes. Wings, uh, wheels, um, I believe there's got a bit of resin for the wheels, which is nice. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Wheels going together here. Doesn't seem to indicate whether you're going to gear up or gear down, it only seems to. Um, depict the um, wheels up. There doesn't appear to be any option for wheel. Uh, sorry, wheels down. Doesn't seem to be any option for wheels up. Uh, masks. Again, you can have the canopy open or closed by the looks of things. Uh, one piece pedal. Then we got the stencils. Standard for all variants, um, not a massive amount of stencils, so if you don't like decals, this is probably a good choice of kit. Um, and then we've got a various options here uh, USS Lexington, uh, September 1943, um, fairly standard three tone colour. You've got the grey and the two tone blue. Um, and again, the same here. Um, We've got the three tone colours scheme, uh, this one as well. Uh, again, they're all similar, certainly the colours are all like pretty much exactly the same, it's just slightly different decal options. Uh, obviously, the one with the shark's mouth at the end here, uh, as per the box art. 
Uh, looks like you can get additional resin components listed on the back here. Uh, a detailed gun bay, strangely enough. Uh, more photo etch set for the undercarriage. Uh, sorry, bring it down. Bombs and uh, a resin engine. Uh, looks like they do other variants as, as well. Nice, nice instructions. Then we go on to the extra bits. We do have resin wheels. I'll open these up so we can have a slightly closer look at these. Always nice. There'll be no horrible seams to sand out here by the looks of things, which is always a nice because obviously any seams on these, these are treaded. Sorry, this will focus I think in a minute. Uh, as you can see they're treaded patterns so if you have to start uh, sanding out seam lines it's going to make a mess of the tread pattern but these are actually really ready to zoom in a bit better here maybe these are really nice resin bits really nicely molded you've even got uh, I can't quite read that but I think it says Firestone on the wheels there so they're really really good um, you've got the two main wheels and there's obviously inserts here as well. So that's good. They all seem to be moulded beautifully. There's no air bubbles or anything there that should cause a problem. Get those back in the packet there. Um, we've then got um, masks. I won't bother to open them up. They're a pretty standard affair, I would imagine. And we've then got two photo etch frets uh, one is color complete with seat belts which is always a bonus and then we've got a sort of brass uh, obviously the uh, wiring harness for the engine and some other various parts here um, again I mean you know Eddard generally their photo etch is excellent so I don't think there are any dramas there um, we think we we'll quickly go over the clear parts. So I'll take them out as they come out of the box. Um, let's bring you in a little bit here so you can see this a bit better. Nice, really, really nice clear parts. Then perhaps not the best I've seen, um, but they're pretty, pretty good. There's no flash. They're really nice and clear. I don't know, distortion wise. Let's find something with some writing. <laughs> you might not catch it this on camera. They're pretty good actually. There's not much distortion there at all. Nice, nice clear parts. It's always nice, they're always in a separate bag, which is good. Proper bag. Okay. Two bags of sprues. Looks like there's two sprues in each. And um, there's a couple of little odd parts that's just come out a bit here. So you can. seems to be a number of cowling options here. I'm not sure quite what the differences are on them are. I uh, so need to do a bit more research on that. Um, we've got the main body. Um, nice recessed panel lines. Really nice uh, rivet detail. I don't know how well you can see this on the camera. I'll try zooming in. Sorry, try zooming in a little bit more here. We can get it to focus. There we go. Nicely detailed. I don't know if this is one of Edard's own kits or whether it's a reboxing. Uh, I know some of the plastic is. And yeah, actually says Edard on the sprue here. So my suspicion is that is one of their own moulds. Um, nice detail on there. Again. All flash free so far. As I say, we seem to have a number of cowling options here. Um, wings again, 
fine recess panel lines rivets all looks nice in fact there's a lot of detail here there's a slight scuff mark on that one but I don't think that'll be anything to worry about all looks good no sink marks or anything horrible on there it's a nice good grey plastic to work with uh, not too flimsy no, nope, that's good. So there's two more sprues in here. We've got a fairly simple um, various uh, flaps for the stabilizers. Again, it's all recess panel lines, it's all nice. There's no flash, um, single one piece propeller here. There's no flash, there's no horrible sink marks in the usual places, which is good. Um, it's all nice and clean. Uh, seats relatively simple, but obviously with the added photo etch, will help bring that out. And we've got a couple of bombs here. Looks like we may have two types of bombs, there's some small ones here. This is the floor for the cockpit. Um, not a massive amount of detail there actually, it's pretty simple. I don't know what it's like in the real aircraft, never having seen one. But that's all good. And then the last one seems to be a little, little odds and sods. Um, we've got the instrument panel. Um, you know, if you didn't have the photo etch, you'd probably want a decal or something for that. It's not particularly detailed, but we've got the photo etch, so it doesn't matter. Um, again, you've got all these side consoles, which if you didn't have the photo etch, are actually quite good. Got some nice raised panel, uh, raised detail there. Um, engine, the actual engine is pretty good. Uh, the nicely detailed cylinders there. You know, you probably wouldn't necessarily need a resin uh, replacement. Landing gear. Obviously we've got plastic wheels here. Wouldn't be using those though with the resin. Again, it all appears to be flash free. Reasonably crisp detail. Oh, that's nice. And then last of all, uh, the decals protected, which is always good. Um, we've got here, uh, look like the radar de uh, decals. I know some of them have the uh, cartograph uh, de decals, and I've certainly used them before in Edard kits, so and they're excellent. I don't think I've done a Edard kit with the Edard decals, so I'm not sure what these are like. Uh, they certainly look nice, they're a sort of a glossy satin type finish. Uh, not too matte, I would say satin more than anything else. They're all nicely a register. I don't know, you may be able to read. Looks like you can, with a bit of magnification, read most of the small print on the stencil detail there. Stars and bars all look good. Um, looks like a nice sheet, hopefully. It'll be good. 2008 is the date on this. I assume that Potentially, it's the same date on the kit. I didn't actually see a date stamped any on it anywhere. Some of these do have dates on these things. I can't see anything on there. But cool, that's it. Thanks for watching. Cheers.